older I get, um, the more I find myself getting a little bit introverted and starting to think about things. Um, and as I ponder the world around me, I've become convinced that our problems in our world don't primarily stem from a lack of action. It's not like we lack good do-gooders that are going to go uh, be the change. There's a lot of people that are willing to do that, and there's enough to make a big difference. Um, underneath that, though, I think is a lack of imagination. I think we accept the scripts that are handed us to us way too readily. Um, and so when I'm talking to people, and I'm, I'm an anarchist, I'm just going to, what that means to me isn't that I want to blow up everything. Um, what that means to me is trying to live at the local level, um, trying to live in a way where we directly uh, care for one another as neighbors, we make decisions together, um, that we don't relegate that to some kind of higher up structure, um, that the voices in our neighborhood can speak uh, together to figure out what their destiny should be. Um, and that we, there's so much that we can do right in front of us. And oftentimes, the ability to love each other as neighbors, to care for the needs in our neighborhood, to uh, you know, feed the hungry or clothe the naked or take in the homeless, those sorts of things, but also like how do we provide health care for one another, uh, what should our neighborhoods look like, uh, finding work, a lot of these things we can talk, if we could talk to them, talk about them at a local level and find amongst our own little villages and communities ways of getting at this, we do a lot better, but we always go to this instinctive place of trying to do the whole, the whole land grab, like how can we change the entire system? And when we say system, we mean the United States of America, and we automatically allow our imagination to have a line around it that looks like the shape of the United States. Uh, we already assume that that's the same thing as the government, and then we have to act a certain way within the governmental system. So if there's a homeless person in front of us who's hungry, our first instinct may not be, how can I become brothers to this one? And how can we create a life together? Or how can I at least be their friend? Maybe they don't want to be my brother, but how can I just how can we gift one another with each other's presence and whatever we happen to have to share. Our instincts go towards, man, there needs to be more affordable housing. And in order to do that, we need to go to the county level, and that's affected by uh, the state level and the national level. So if I get a vote for Obama or Romney or whatever, Romney's not going to care about this, but if we get a vote for Obama, maybe it'll make it all better for this guy. And there's something there. I mean, there's some truth that some of this stuff does trickle down. But by having our imagination so caught up on the whole land grab, like changing it all, the common good, we tend to fail to notice the common good right here. And to me, being imaginative, thinking about how would we, if you didn't have to worry about malpractice or these sorts of legal things, what would it look like for healthcare to be done among 200 people? What could that look like? Start scheming together. What would it look like for all the needs in our neighborhood to be met? How could we meet them amongst the neighborhood? And to me, this doesn't mean that we basically say, screw those other neighborhoods. Uh, so much of our society, the good things in our society, um, where, that we do for one another across boundaries, like challenging injustices in one place or bring, meeting needs in another place, are done in very personal, hands-on ways that don't rely upon social services. And not, don't get me wrong, I'm not, about, I'm not a tea party or I don't want to abolish social services. We should, only get, we should only abolish it if we come up with something better first, and that's what I'm interested in. Um, but how can we begin to address the needs in front of us? How can we begin to like meet our own needs, practice gift economy, do this together in our neighborhoods and our places, and then within between neighborhoods share the good things that we have? What would it look like if that was our question first, before we started assuming any sort of script existed already?